Hello and welcome back to another episode of XCOM 2 War of the Chosen. My name is Saiken and today we're continuing the Against the Hive campaign. Where we're trying to rid the world of a Tyranid slash Chrysalid infestation with commercial weapons, aka ballistic weapons and normal armor only. And on top of it we fight against double enemy squad size so it will be a massacre. Time for Operation Wolf Tooth, where we're trying to neutralize a field commander and we're trying to also counter a moderately uh, tame, well, uh, dark event. But I want to have the 150 supplies, so I'm looking very much forward to do that. We have uh, switched Haywire's weapon into a bulb hub. And let's see if she can shoot twice with it, that would be interesting if that is a weapon coded ability or if it's a coded ability from the skirmisher so we're going to find that out got plenty of grenades as you can see hawkbite has joined us because we're short on staff and lyrical hawkbite will be the front line whilst uh, hayward kind of is the healer slash support ish um, plus finally edgar alien poe is just going to lay waste with all of his grenades so as always without further ado Let's uh, jump into uh, the mix. We want to see if we can beat uh, the commander there. Good, very, very good. We have uh, landed. Menace one five. We're tracking the advent general and his escorts, but we don't have an exact fix on their location. As always we with the uh, these missions, the as long as we don't trigger the, the enemies and lose our concealment we're going to be fine. And the mission timer doesn't start. The march continues. So our job will be to find out where the general is. And once we have located them, kill them before anything else happens. Let's do this. Hayward uh, begins to move to here. I think we have a solid high ground position. What do we have here? Defensive mine. Um, Oh, look at that. We can even throw it. Oh, it's not bad. Um, how about we're putting one here? There you go. Little mine. Moving. Still seeing that pack over there. Looks like hostiles over here. Another pack, but fortunately. Nothing, um, nothing that would indicate that there is a, the general. Let's wait until that other pack here is finally moving away. Okay. We're not necessarily a team that relies on high ground as much. Oh, we only have one mine. Oh, that's unfortunate. I thought it was kind of a repeating skill. I already figured, wow, this is going to be super sick. Just having mines over mines over mines. Apparently that's not the case. Good, those two guys we can ignore for now. My gut tells me um, he's potentially somewhere here. Understood, moving out. 
Edgar moves up. This is too exposed. So it is decided. Allez, on bouge. Good. Further movement of both of these Advent Troopers. And seeing how they move to here, it tells me the target is here. And the target in this case is Moving on target location. the general. Yeah. Okay, not a surprise. Really just seeing how Edwin or how the AI begins to move. It was almost clear that they must be or that the general must be over there. We can start and then kind of fight our way through. These guys will engage with us. It's their nature to to trigger. And the general just positioned himself very well. Cool. Lining protocol would be helpful. Not sure if we should trigger with blinding protocol. The shot, by the way, ends the turn. Uh, Lyrical takes an overwatch here. Blinding protocol. Flashbang disorients all enemies. Massive uh, mobility reduction. We're going to kill them anyway, so what are we even talking about? Edgar Allan Poe, Overwatches, and. Very well. That adds more focus. There we go. Good job. Moves a bit closer without triggering and Overwatch, and we're not doing anything here. We're picking up an inbound advent transport. The aliens are going to try and extract the general from the AO. Don't let him get on board that ship. General found us. Oh, we almost uh, killed someone else. Good, so. Let's go through our usual routine. Hogbite will very soon engage. We got enough movement to engage on either side. I just want to free up the slot, really. We are going to focus on the Advent General, of course. We don't want to charge in. Let's make sure we kill the trooper. Good, Hogbite is at full uh, focus and which is positioning him into full cover as well. 
Good time for a run and gun. Nice little crit would be good. Come on. Nah, almost. Now, the main question is... What do we not want? Uh, we don't want him to run away. So blinding protocol it is. Nice little disorientation. Good stuff. Yeah, he did not run at all. Which tells me he's just dumbfounded about the situation. Oh, that would be a nice little hit. We're going to go in. Let's try to kill the general first. Mwah. Fan Fantastic. Well, they will not recover anything. Disorientation and melee vulnerability. Fantastic. Could move up here. Hit the trooper. Or we're going to play it safe. Which in this case is maybe a kill via the grenade. If not, we're going to use combat protocol. Reload first to be action efficient and then combat protocol. Getting this guy down. Sektoid is disoriented, doesn't really know what he's doing, and there's another pack that is coming from back there. Ok, bye. Yeah, there's another sector we uh, could already peekaboo. This here is new as well, I like it. That's a great tile. Unfortunately, really poor cover. A lot of the changes make the advancements very, very, very difficult. I'm on it. Mainly because it provides less cover. And less cover typically means that you're a disadvantage because XCOM needs to push forward. I sell shots, like what I'm seeing. Uh, this could be a kill. Lyric kill. Has enough of it. And just goes in. 28%, not really good. Twenty-four percent, not good either. I'm getting a little bit closer here, just to get that weapon proximity bonus. Nope. No chance. I mean, look, we could always... 
engage uh, with Hogbite. Still trying to help us. 50-50. And then it's not even 100% kill, so this is statistically the better chance to kill. Unfortunately, statistics sometimes only get you so far. This guy deals three points of damage. Three to four. And can crit. As much as I hate to do it, but... This is again the better choice. Cool. The Alarum core is a good find. Yeah, we're now flanked. Unfortunate. I tried to do what I could. Heading out. Running. Reload Overwatch and I think we're okay. Try to do what I could, but sometimes the uh, hit chances are just not aligning. Very good. So, what are we dealing with? Sure to be high after an operation like that. Raid work. The resistance factions take a more flexible. Hogbite, we're definitely going with Perry, and <laughs> we got Fortress already. Okay. Might as well just spec into that. Immunity to fire, poison, acid, and explosive damage. And he does. <laughs> I feel bad. There is a good chance that there is Blade Storm in there. Um, oh yeah. Well, this is, he looks like a stacked Templar. I hate to do it because it might just be the Hogbite show again. But what can I do? Um, I could ban Templars altogether, just like Psy operators have been banned. But I felt that the uh, hero classes. Will be a nice like gimmick to have one of uh, one of uh, them available. Avenger planning new course. We get more people, uh, more meat for the meat grinder. Another important step forward in our research. Fantastic. Experimental weapons are inspired, so we might as well take that because other than that, we just got. Resistance radius, which we do not really need. We must act fast. Despite their brilliance, they are a fickle group. I will make that our highest priority, Commander. That would take six to eight days. We still have enough time for the supply drop, so we'll get the ambush done. Then we're making contact. We'll need to scan the target region for the operative signal. After we pay the initial intel cost to make contact, we'll have to scan the region. Oh, finally. Finally, finally, finally. We got Tracy Elliott here. And I would like to get another field medic. Can't yet get combat squad size, but there are plenty of other stuff that we could get. Oh yeah, well, okay, we're going to go through that as and when it comes available. Commander, we have a we're tracking the alien's progress on this avatar. Good, finally the Avatar project starts, because what would XCOM 2 be without the Avatar project? You need to have that little uh, man on your shoulder com uh, continuously whipping you. Trace around, it's a very good find, and a gas grenade. That's an interesting find as well. Damage over time, standard frag grenade will suffer additional deliberating effects of poison. I like it. I like what I'm seeing, which means our zapper, all of the zappers are wounded. Nemri and Edgar Allan Poe both are wounded. 
but Namri is very soon going to come back. Hence, we could then hand her the no. grenade. The power back that grenade slot uh, would do just well uh, with a gas grenade. But we'd still be half buried in the sand if he had it. He gave everything he had to get the ship running. But he didn't live long enough to see her fly. We owe you both a debt of gratitude. You can honor his memory. Good. Make contact. Yes, please. You'll get no argument here. Commander, using intel collected so far, we've managed to locate a resistance cell operating out of this region. It'll take us some time to scan for their exact... Okay, now, interesting question. Do we want to go for the infirmary, which I think could be the right call? But that would push uh, the proving ground and all of the nice tools in it out. Build time, 42 days, is a handful. But I think my initial, my initial gut uh, feel is uh, right. We continue to carry out uh, the clearing because that's the only thing that we can do at this point on parallel. We have one engineer and next up we need to build a power source anyways. And then it's training, uh, training ground and proving ground next. Commander, we just got word that the resistance hit an advent supply line. Secure supplies and rescue civilians from the chrysalid threat. Ooh. More hive incoming. More hive incoming, but that is going to in, uh, be incoming for the next time. Let's take a look at how, how our team is looking. We got Lyrical, we got Hogbite. Yeah, well. We got four people available. That's pretty much it. We could put a tired person on it. It's not a good idea. Uh, Alejandro will join us as a rookie. <laughs> wow, this campaign is already delivering. The roster isn't very deep. We need more people. Um, two days, uh, one day until we find a Reaper and that would expand our roster. I think we have three rookies in the pipeline. We got enough supplies to also hire a rookie or two. In terms of engineering, I am seriously considering to just build another nanoscale vest. Yeah, let's do that. With that extra vest slot that we do have available, this effectively is plus one hit point. We're going to get the supplies back, so that's not a big problem. We can't upgrade the weapons anyway, so we're, we don't need to save for um, a weapon upgrade. And experimental weapons now are fine. We won't be able to see them for quite a bit of time. What else could we take? I think next up we're going with resistance radio just because it increases our income. And you can already see we do have a bit of a problem with one scientist. We're not doing super hot. From my own experience, Advent generally deploys heavy security rather than subterfuge. But Game now gives us a, a supply rate. The supply rate mainly is supposed to give you alien alloys and, uh, and some alarium. Both of that is not really needed because we're not upgrading. But it is what it is. Um, Our work is proceeding as expected. I think you could make an argument for the Hive Drone. I think the Hive Drone... The normal chrysalid gives you the Hasmas vest, which is a better version of the normal uh, vest that we're having. So gotta see if that is an option but yeah we're, we'll figure it out until the next time 
Under that uh, time, uh, thank you very much for watching and uh, we see each other in the next episode. If you stroll around that like button and happen to drop a mouse click on it, that would be much appreciated. Other than that, uh, take care and have a good one. Bye-bye.